Welcome to SSN Radio, the SEALS War Vet. The title of this video I'm going to call, Oh No, It's Negroes. That's what the title of this video is about. And this has a lot to do with job economics and how the black man, black woman is being treated. I'm not blaming everybody for our problems. I'm, I always blame my people. So for those who not caught up, not hip to the game, you might want to go back and watch my old videos. I'm not here to place blame on anyone. I'm just talking about what I see. Shout out to all the 36 plus countries. I'm pretty sure there's more. Like I said, I haven't been into the analytics in a minute. Of course, there's a truck out of drive by, of course. I haven't checked my analytics as much. I don't need to. Once I've seen, I'm, I'm in that many countries, I don't have to keep checking the analytical charts for that. It saddens me because I'm still seeing it. I'm still talking with people that I know. And I go online, I do the research, and you see these people come out trying to explain to the world what's going on, but nothing is going to change. Black man, black woman. The school systems are setting you up for failure. See, with the internet now, you may be able to dodge that bullet. Like, for some people like myself, going into the military and dodging, having to come out my pockets and be in debt before I get my first paycheck. Some people are dodging that bullet thanks to the internet now because you have black man, black woman out there now talking about how they're dealing with racism. It's still here. It did not go away. What these people did was strategize. And they got help from the boule. This is all alleged so that no one sued me. This is for entertainment purposes only. I don't want the boule coming after me. I don't want the mason trying to sue me. But the proof is in the pudding. If you have your third eye open, if you keep looking, you're going to see. Nothing's going to change with this system. Let's start with these communities. There's a certain community. I'm not talking about my community. I'm pretty sure it go on here. But I, let, let's talk about these gated communities. Ginormous communities. Rich people communities. You go on and you see it's like predominantly white, right? But you see, these are the different type of white people that I've been witnessing. See, I got to travel in my business endeavors. I got to travel. I got to see places. When I was doing carpet cleaning, I got to go into different areas and see how things is. For those who are in security, you're going to understand what's going on because you're going to see these people doing these things. You're going to be exposed to it and you're going to get to watch these people talk down to you like you're a worthless piece of crap. But if you keep your eye open and you pay attention and you watch how these people move in their circles, you're going to understand how they're able to stay up and while we're staying down. Real talk. Like I said, you go to college, you they're, they're telling you, like I, they did somebody I know, they told him about his profession, and he heard it through the grapevine. Oh, man, you're going to make this type of money. That man did all that years of schooling, only to end up out there. The pay rate, the pay grades, pay rates dropped. Barely making ends meet. Then you're going to be messed up if you're going there and you get a wife. You got kids now. Some of you have multiple kids. And then the economy is going up and your paychecks is not moving. It's stagnant. Then you're going to find yourself going back into more debt trying to get that degree, right? Trying to upgrade that degree. Only to find out because of the color of your skin, you're not going to get it. They'll put a dumb white over you. I've seen that too many times. They'll put somebody over you or bring someone from another location to tell you, oh, they've been in line waiting for the position. That's a lie. The color of your skin is the reason why you didn't get it. I know people are going to say, oh, man, y'all cry wolf so many times. Man, F you. We don't care about you. We got the internet now. I'm in so many countries, I can tell this to the world. No one can stop SSN Radio. No one's stopping uh, War Vet. We've seen it too many times. It's still here. It's not going away. There's a certain type of white people you got to watch your back when it comes to. Black man, black woman. And I don't care who I offend. You come to my channel, you try to speak out. You want to come on here and call me a racist name. Guess what I'm going to do? You're going to get asked. You're going to get deleted off my channel. I'm going to hide my channel. And I'm going to make sure your channel go up in flames too. So don't come to my channel. I'm all over the globe. This is what happens when you get a real one out here telling the truth I've been seeing too much. I'm in my yard. Minding my business. On the airwaves talking to who knows how many people. To you young black men and black women out there. Don't be fooled by the, 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 this BS they're teaching you in your hometown. Don't let these people get in your ear because most of them come from a Masonic, demonic background. They got families that sit here and get in your ear in these schools. And you go out there, 
it's like you're it's like th that that Mario Kart where you race against your ghost. That's what you're doing. They're getting you to play yourself. You think you're going to really go out there as a black man, black woman and going to really amount to something without going through their systems? I had this idiot black man. Not knowing I knew he was a damn Mason. Trying to see him talk a certain way. But I'm watching the hand signs while he talk. You want to talk about your success. He know who he is. You want to talk about your success. And how you made it and everybody can make it. No, everybody can't make it, son. Everybody's not going to make it. That's why we have different levels in this society. That's why we have different uh, class. It was created by your masons. The one you black bums joined, right? You, you bumbunctious he bitches. You boule. You're the ones that did this. You participated. And that's how Black Wall Street got caught up. Joined that nonsense and then tried to play Satan. And I said in the video what Satan did to them. Dropped barrels of fire on their head. But see, you guys going to think you're going to go to school. You're going to become something in life. Some of you are not going to become something in life. Some of you are going to become homeless. There's people out there that got doctors, PhDs, and they're still homeless. Let it sink in. This is a sad world we live in. And the color of your skin is going to dictate what type of job you get. And I'm don't come to my channel and tell us, oh man, you just got excuses. Uh, come to my channel. Come to Warvet channel. I'm that dude. Play with me. Come over here. I dare any one of you come to my channel and talk and see what happened. For the real ones out there who've been through it like myself and others, let's let's communicate with each other. Let's not worry about the naysayers, man. Push them to the side, scratch that, and let's keep it moving. I don't want to hear about people telling me, well, I put in the work and I've made it. I don't care what you did. You're probably a sucking dick. You were probably bent over the school desk like a school girl, school woman, school man, school boy, and you got it up your bum bums for that money. There's people who selling their soul. Everybody selling their souls not going to Hollywood. They become your school teachers. They're your boss. Some of them so proud to show what fraternities they joined in school, meaning college, and then they, some of them so bold they put the Masonic logos on their damn license plate. They put it, I'm telling you, man, it's, there, it's in your face if you look. The old saying is you could, you could lead a, a horse to the water, a donkey to the water, but you can't make them drink it. Same thing with this. I can lead you to the internet. That doesn't mean you got to hit, that doesn't mean you got to hit search. The proof is there. So many people come out and talk about how they've been discriminated against because of the color of their skin. And all you people going online say, all we do is complain. I dare our MF to come on my channel and say, we just complain. When I'm a witness to what's going on, I've seen this happen to people. I've had people look at the color of my skin and wouldn't even give me a job because of my color of my skin. I had people hire me for a contract. And when I showed up, they seen the color of my skin, they canceled the contract. And this was in carpet cleaning. So please miss me with that nonsense. I'm talking from my personal experience of what happened to me and what I've seen happen to people I know. This stuff is real. And there's associates out there that I sometimes communicate with that are still going through this nonsense and their madness with these jobs. But you guys going to come around and say, oh, you need to start complaining. Oh, you Negroes do is complain. Well, what else can we do? Start chopping your heads off? At best, we just complain, right? Because when we start taking action, you're not going to like it. Black people, I've been saying for many, many years, many, many moons, you should regroup. You, still, you, you just become organized. We don't have to exclude people from what we do. We need to become better organized because they're organized. They didn't exclude us from everything. You're going to have to go do them rituals. You're going to have to become a mason. You're going to have to do a lot of things to get to where you're going. But they're going to make sure they have a system set up in place before any man or woman go through the ranks. Let me see tearing up my legs. I put this thing out here. I'm going to move back. These mosquitoes are tearing me up out here, man. Somebody got to tell her how it is, and I'm the one to do it. You didn't get that job most likely because of the color of your skin. It ain't just happened to black people. It happened to dark skin people. You could be an Indian with dark skin. You could be anything with a dark skin. If you look black, you're going to have some problems. I'm so happy I could be on the radio and talk to the right people because if you get out in a group discussion out in the open, it's going to become chaotic. I've seen people have these group 
well, out in the open talking about it in almost kind of blows and shootouts. So I choose never to go out in the open to people and talk about my trials and tribulations. I'd rather just go on SSN radio like I'm doing now, something I pay to be in multiple countries and talk to the right people. And I couldn't talk to the Americans alone because America is too busy blocking people like me from getting out the truth. So what I had to do is start putting up the money to advertise worldwide. I'm everywhere. Well, at least mostly. Some of you in your countries, you don't have to be in the U.S. You're in your countries right now going through it. There's black people in other countries going through it. And it's worse if you're going to China. I don't know what black man in his right mind want to go to China, let alone eat Chinese food here. I've been stopped eating Chinese food. I don't support that mess no more. Once I learn how much you, not all, not all, because I elf with some Chinese people. I'm talking about the ones that's doing it. Let me clarify because everybody going to think I'm talking about the whole world and I'm not talking about the whole world. I'm only talking about a select people, the ones who are doing it. But the problem with the Chinese, your, your culture, you need to start cracking down on your people, getting out of line. I, I know you guys like to spit loogies at people. I've heard about this. You, you want to spit where people stand. You're going to get laid out doing it to the wrong person. and You're not calling 911 because we're going to make sure your body ain't going to be found. We had this one dude on YouTube, he put out this video, and he's going down because of the color of his skin. You got the Chinese people spitting on the ground right next to him because in that hometown, they don't want you in there. They don't want black people. Couldn't have been me. Because I'd have plot and plant, and I would have found you. Your body, you did another found you, son. See, this is what I do for a living. I would have did something to one of them. You spit on me, and I find out your name? I may come back looking for you, and I'm going to make sure I'm going to plot and plant you. I'm going to dig your grave before I get to you. And then when I get to you, I'm taking you to where you ain't never going to be found again. You're going to China. These idiots over there want to run their hair, their, their, their nasty doodoo infested hands through black people hair. I will stick a pick fork through your, your juggler, bitch. You hate us that much, but you want to you take your ball, your, your hands, you've been planting your vaginas and your, your, your playing with your fucking nut sacks. And you want to run that through my hair? I would stick an ice pick in your juggler. I would never go to China because I know you don't like us. I'm not going there and support that place. I'll probably go to Japan for now until I hear something that I may not go there. But I'm not going to China. Fuck China. I'm on a real one right now, man. I ain't gonna tr I'm trying my best not to cuss throughout this, this video. I want people to feel my pain. Yeah, I talk mess about my culture because it is some nonsense within the culture. But that doesn't mean I hate the damn culture. It means I'm sick of these ignorant Negroes. I don't care about YouTube trying to censor me. I don't care about that neither. They've been, they've been doing it for the longest. My channel reigns supreme. I don't care about YouTube. I don't care about Facebook. Facebook got a lot of scams on there if you didn't know. People now pulling back on their ass. Facebook, you deserve to go down. Allegedly, allegedly. Don't sue me, you bums. I hope everybody pulled their money out of Facebook, and I hope your, your made-up stock crash. If, if it don't crash, I'm going to make sure it crash. I got the power now. It's a matter of time before I start getting out there and really crashing Facebook like I did prepay illegal. Fake billion-dollar company. I crashed. Me and my friends crashed them. They sent lawyers my way. i never forget that. Too big, to, too big to listen, too big to fail, but yet you ran to lawyers when it came to war vet, right? And that's when I had that dating site back in the day, when I was pushing billions of numbers. I had over 25 million signups on my dating site from years ago. Did everything for free. And I was, man, I was walking a dog with prepaid illegal. Now they changed their neck because they're out of business, they're off the stock market. I got death threats, they long gone, all you faded away. I'm still here. Where's prepaid now? I said before, MLM companies, you can make money with it, but you got them higher up, some, them, them masons. I didn't know at the time, but now I know you got the masons and the boule. They all have a system in place where they were robbing us. They were deliberately making the, con the, the, the content bad, so you go out there and you get chargebacks. They were making their real money off of chargebacks. They had nothing to do with you going up there. You're struggling to go get your sales. They want to lock you into those monthly plans when all you had to do is say one-time fee, X amount. Most people will go for that, but the higher-ups won't go for that. They'll, they'll, they'll tell you you can do it, 
and then they go in the back door and they, they shut you out. Because if you read the contract, it says they could terminate you for any reason and they don't need a reason. Read the contract. I read it. I specialize in contract law. I read the stuff. I played their little dumb games, found out how MLM worked through them. I ain't going to lie. You could have made money with that because I started making money with it. But they voted me out. They booted me out for no damn reason because it was in the contract. This is why I don't mess with MLM to this day. Have you out there in those streets, you doing a sales pitch, you start doing good, you figure, it, you figure out how everything works, and then they come behind you, and they do some sucker mess. And when they did that to me, you know what Warvet does. That's, remember, I was younger than this, so I was young and dumb, so I went all out on prepaid. And when me and my crew was done with them, go look on the market and see if you see them on the stock market now. I still got emails from law firms that was sending me something saying they're going to sue me. I haven't seen them yet. Where are you? I know the owner's dead. They were trying to shut me up. They censor you. They were trying to use their money. Their, their billion, that billion dollar company was trying to use money to silence me. I used to, I killed you with a dating website. And I'm going to kill you with SSN radio. I'm going to finish you off because I'm not done. I had years to sit back and think of how I'm going to destroy you. I destroyed you already off the uh, stock market. But now I'm going to come back and I'm going to kill you for real. My hate goes deeper than Satan. I don't think you motherfuckers know who you're dealing with. You fucked up my money years ago and I've destroyed your whole company. But I'm not done because you got this little company on the side. You're trying to come back up. We're not letting it happen. I'm going to make sure that your Miller company never make no goddamn money again. You're struggling now because of me and my crew. And I got all the receipts to show the law firms you sent my way. Not one of them could stand with me. Not one. And this channel... SSN Radio is growing. And I'm spending little to no money with SSN Radio compared to a dating site that was pushing Google numbers. So you can only imagine how much money I was losing at that time just to learn marketing. I had connections left and right. I just couldn't keep up with it. It became too much. Remember, the internet back then was different than the internet now. Now, you got AI creating everything. You can Your overhead is little to nothing now with the internet. The mosquitoes are tearing me up, but I'll deal with it. There's going to be some good content. Where you at, prepaid? I'm still here, baby. Of course, this car you see right here is my rental. I get, when I get my car back out the shop, I'll be back on the road doing what I do. Right now, it's just a rental. Get my car fixed. You have people hitting your cars down here, and then you have the insurance company don't want to pay out. But I forced them to pay out and fix my damn car. If I have to take them to court and sue them for everything, they're going to fix my car. They're fixing it now. It only took a year to get them to do their damn job. I'm going to tell you something. Don't let no insurance company tell you to download an app and take a picture of a damage on your car. Because them bums going to send you pennies. They tried that with me. I played their little game. I said, okay, let me now go and show them what I can do. And I did that. Now they're fixing my car. Straight up. Now, I'm not getting off the subject of the color of my skin or your skin because it's still in effect. Some countries are worse than the U.S. when it comes to being black. But I always say, black man, blame yourself because how the hell are you going to be? You know what's going on with this world. and <laughs> You still don't come together. And if you come together, it's in the form of being a Mason or Boule or whatever black fraternity you want to join. And all of them are hell bent on telling, or um, they're hell bent on destroying us. And if you boule Mason, Black Mason, Knights of the Round Table, I don't care what you are. Don't speak to me. Please don't come to my channel talking to me, because you're gonna get asked. You can't reason with me. I don't reason with peasants. I know what I know because I've seen it, and I've been a part of something. That I sh I'm glad I didn't blood in, because I would have had to blood out. That's why you you can't talk to War Vet, because War Vet is in the know. I've been approached by Masons numerous times. Come join us. I'm not joining you. And the biggest place for them to try to get people, is especially, is law enforcement and military. They're heavy there, man. And I said in one of my old videos that I deleted, I was approached by the shadow government. I almost had the blood in. That story I may come back and tell again without all the cursing. You may want to hear that. I dropped a video, but I deleted. I was cussing so much in there. I was going in. 
The video was doing, the video blew up, but I deleted it. I said, you know what? Maybe I can come back and just bring some better content without all the cussing and be able to explain what the hell happened and have clarity for most that don't know. Going into the military, going to the military as a black man, you got to be careful too because it's racism. It's even worse because they have rank. They can talk trash to you and then they got people backing them. Just like the judicial system out here. They can mess up your life and then they can put all the taxpayers' money to block you from getting justice. That's how it is out here. Just like with the military. So when you're going there, you join the military, you try to get out your hometown because the people not sticking together. Go in. See, when I went in, we didn't have the internet. Not on this level. If you're going into the military right now, you should definitely understand the stock market. Take your paychecks, put it into stocks, go buy some crypto. I'm doing that out here now. I have billions in crypto. I have billions of crypto. All I need is one to hit. I put my money into stocks and I put a ton of money into crypto. Because crypto, it, yeah, it's going to drag out for a couple of years. But when that crypto, if one of them damn things hit, it's game over. All I need is one to hit. The stock market is put here to maintain your lifestyle. It doesn't mean you take your, your nine to five checks, you go just dumping it in like crazy and hoping one day you come up. That can crash on you. No, I'm going to tell you how it works. If you're managing your money out here, you really being careful. Now, you should be putting money to stocks to try to build as you grow and, and hope that they don't belly up. But truth be told, man, the stock market for the rich people. So if you're already rich, like Sir Mitzalot said, He's still living the same lifestyle he lived back then when, uh, what's it called, Baby Got Back when it came out. And then he linked up with these Jewish people and they showed him about stocks and how they invest and living off dividends. He didn't even know what that was. But remember, the internet wasn't out on that level. Now you people going into the military now. Remember, you're not out in the civilian world. You're in the military. The only bills you have is a cell phone and a car note. If you put anything else on, you'll be a cable bill or whatever you put on. You really ain't got no bills in the military. So you should be taking your money. With this internet we got now, go invest into stocks and go buy up crypto. Crypto is so cheap to buy. Catch your crypto when it's at nearly all zeros. Trust me. Buy up as much as you can while you're getting that military money and sit on it while you're deploying. Go overseas and you're getting that tax-free money. That hazardous pay, come back and come back into the US and invest that money. Don't go blowing your money in the clubs. The clubs are dead. I had to go to the clubs because we didn't have this good stuff we have now. If I had the knowledge now and applied it back then, I would be filthy rich. See, I was young and dumb back then. I would have party. We didn't have the internet. We didn't have people teaching us about stocks. And I didn't know nothing. If you want to learn about stocks back in the day, you better know someone that knows someone that knows someone because the internet wasn't around. That's why the rich stay rich. But now the rich is having problems trying to maintain because people like me are coming up because we understand the Internet and we have people that passing the word around. We all coming up. You keep going to the nine to five jobs and, and looking at the color of your skin and think you're going to survive. And I'm going to tell you something about getting old. As you get older, I'm not saying they're not doing it to the other cultures, but I know we are the problem when it comes to certain things. As you get older, black man, black woman, it's getting harder and harder to get a damn job. And if you already have a job, they're already looking for exit plan for you, ways to fire you. Let it sink in. I've seen it. Your color, the color of your skin, they're not letting you retire, son. So if you think you're going to go to these nine to five jobs and you're going to retire as a black man, black woman, depend on what field you went in. Because if you're not a mason or a rainbow girl or a boule or something in that type of nature, you have no one helping you. Because, see, they're going to stick together because their plan is to turn on us, which they already did. Black man, black woman, you on your own. I'm sorry. If you, if you didn't join a cult, a cult like those organizations I just named, there's a strong chance you're not going to make it. But you can avoid all of that by investing into stocks, investing into crypto. There's a way out. Don't take your money and play lottery. The lottery is fixed. It's linked into a phone line. Now it's linked into cable lines. It's linked to the internet. Every time you guys play those numbers, you notice they got to get those numbers before a certain time. Anytime you play the lotto, it goes into their database. It reports back to them, and they always know what numbers not to play. They may give you a few numbers here and there to shut you up, like let you hit two, three. They might let you hit three. I hit four numbers one time on lotto. Almost hit the fifth. I hit four numbers one time, and that's as far as I got. 
This, this enemy knows what it's doing. This whole matrix, this system is set up to keep you down and slaving. Because it goes back to the old saying, you have to till the land. It's always somebody got to work. Because if everybody is rich, then we're not going nowhere. Somebody going to have to suffer. Somebody going to have to be peaceful. But you don't have to do that forever. If you're young coming up, you got to put in that work. And if you have a brain... And you know how to use this internet and you understand crypto, you understand the stock market. You had parents that taught you well. And this time now, you're going to have a bright future. Because there's no future in 9 to 5. There's none. You're going to keep waking up every day to go to a job you hate. I know people now, they're so ignorant. I've talked to them. They're so ignorant. You can't even talk to them about stocks or crypto. Because you know what they're going to say? Oh man, that's just a scam. Man, it's just, Okay. And then you look at their lifestyle, eating anything, eating pig feet, ham hocks. So, this internet we have now, we are going to communicate and link up. I know someone right now that went on to a website and they have like a school. This dude have like a school of teaching people about crypto, how to set up wallets and a few other things. So, when you link up with a school, when you link up with the school and you talk with like-minded individuals, they basically explain which crypto to invest into because you're dealing with the wells. Because right now, I got a friend that's doing that. And I'm, I've been watching the crypto market and which ones to invest into. So, if you go and buy crypto, like let's say you're with the crypto.com, and you turn around and buy some of that, that crypto that's on crypto.com. This is a legend, so please don't sue me. If you buy some of that crypto, you should have caught that long before then. Because by the time you catch it off of crypto.com or any sites like that, the whales already put their money into stuff. So when you go and buy up crypto right now, you already paid somebody else. So you got to hope for a miracle. If you're in the market now, you got to hope for a miracle. That people are going, the news going to, it's going to catch waves somewhere or they're going to create stores to use the crypto light. I ain't going to say which one it is. But there's certain crypto out there now people are using as a change other than American money. So if you got lucky and you sitting on a bunch of that and by the time it catch waves and everybody start buying and whatever and they start burning that stuff, you're filthy rich. Black man, black woman. So we don't want to see our culture our people go out there and we're led into slaughter. Nine to five, you, I'm telling you, there's not going to be in a retirement. The American government is done. The oil giants now over, I believe in Saudi Arabia, talking about they want to trade in some type of currencies other than American money. American dollar is dead, guys. It's not backed by gold and silver. If you're watching the market the way I'm watching it, America is about to implode. I don't care how many wars they start. If your currency is not working in other countries, that means the cost of living here is going to go up because your currency is not valuable. It's not backed by gold and silver. We had people trying to get the American dollar backed by gold and silver again, only to find out they were getting murdered, assassinated, taken up out of here. America not bringing it back, but the damage is done. We don't need American dollar no more. We got crypto. We got other currencies we can exchange through. And sooner or later, IRS is going to be removed. We're not going to mess with IRS no more. Stealing our money, taking from us, and giving back to themselves. That's what IRS is for, allegedly. So they don't sue me. They're taking your money. And they're giving it to the people. That's how they're doing the rituals. I know I sound crazy. But when you guys wake up and get up on my level, it's going to be a different ball game. Because I know I call people crazy too before I became enlightened with the knowledge having my third eye open i was out there looking at like looking at people like they're crazy i did it too and then one day i woke up it was in 2007 i got a dvd called in plain sight something happened they were lying about that damn war that i went to by the way 2007 i got a dvd that explained to me about the 2003 war that i fought and that was a wake-up call for me when i seen the documents i started looking at the People tell their sides of the story and what happened. They lied about the, the towers falling. Things wasn't adding up. And I said, oh my God. I don't went over there and got hurt. Just like they did Jesse Ventura. Allegedly, allegedly. 
he had a show called Conspiracy Theory. Go look it up. W watch the episodes. Remember, that guy was also talking about what the Americans about to do. They had all these down coffins. Yeah, that has something to do with COVID-19, which already passed and coming back. They told him to face the, the Gulf of Tonkin or whatever it was called. It never happened, but the man was over there. And he was furious. He was angry. But the politicians lied about it. So what they're doing with the Iraq war and all that stuff, they turned into a Hollywood movie. They're trying to glamorize this stuff. This, this nonsense. It was nothing glamorous about being over there. I almost died numerous times. I barely made it back in one piece. I'm out here and I still see the races around. But see, we're, we're in a different time where we don't have to get all riled up over nonsense. We can just go invest into the stock market. We can go invest into crypto or any other currencies out there. We can put our money to different projects and say the hell with these MFs. I'm not saying there's not other races and cultures out there not suffer, because they are. I'm just talking about mine right now, because I see it mostly with us. I'm talking about what I see. I'm not talking about what the world see. I'm talking about what war vets see. There ain't no jobs. The jobs are going down. The AI is going to be taking your jobs. Being a black man, black woman, the AI is going to be taking your jobs too. It's just going to get worse and worse. Some of you guys like to go to the restaurants and be servants and, and all this other stuff. You're not going to have a job because the AI is replacing you. Mechanics, have you guys seen what's going on lately? A mechanic guy was talking about how one of the car companies basically done, they created something with the computer. Now the mechanics don't even have access to it. They have to go through the company and spend a ton of money just use the system. And you know what? I agree because they invented that. So why you mechanics are getting mad and trying to get Congress to pass laws saying they have to give you this stuff? No, they don't. Because if you knew what you were really doing, you would be out there trying to put the pressure on somebody who invented that technology. I'll be mad too. The car companies were actually losing money. They build these cars. The engineers build these cars. And then they have some sucker mechanics come behind trying to get laws passed so they can use their, their codes and everything with the... Uh, with the computer system. Now the company said, "Elf the law. We, okay, you want this? You can have it, but you're going to pay a lot of money to use our complex systems. And if you notice, they make the cars so complex with the technology that even the mechanics are struggling to keep up. You got to go through more schooling to keep up this new technology. This is why I'm glad I'm not in order on diesel mechanics. I was supposed to be in there. I worked on a few cars. I can't remember half the stuff now because I haven't touched a car in eons. But one thing I do know when you start adding all these parts to these cars, you start adding all this new technology, you are actually going to hurt yourself. The older cars that had less technology that was easy to fix are still on the road to this day. My car got hit on the side. See, see where this light is at? That gray part underneath that, that light right there? If you punch that the wrong way with your fist, you will not lose your RCTA system. Just imagine someone now hitting your car with their car. Your whole system going haywire, and that's what happened to my car. That's why my car is in the shop right now. They got to take the entire bumper off. They got to go up under there, look at the brackets. They got to go look at everything. Make sure it ain't bent no metal. Things that the, the insurance company refused to look at. They told me to download the app, take a picture with the app, and send it to them. That was the worst mistake I made. But I played their little game because I knew it was more to it than just that. And what these, these people going to do, once you take the picture and send it to them, they're going to send you a few hundred dollars. That's all they're going to do. And if you wait too, too long, they're not going to fix your car. And that's what they're trying to do. Anybody want to know what happened and want to know how to get around that? You can come into my comments and holler at me and I'll let you know. The insurance company may not like it and I don't care because they did me dirty. Don't take a picture with their app. It's garbage. Progressive, you need to stop doing that. Yeah, I'm calling you out now because I'm mad. Progressive. Had me to download that damn app. Someone hit my damn car and I took it. I finally took it to the uh, Toyota dealership and they had a guy there that, works on, that does uh, body work on cars. And he told me just from looking at where my car, the side where it hit, the, the person hit my car so damn hard. It pushed my damn it pushed the, 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 the kit and, into the RCTA system. You can see it sticking through. I didn't notice it at the time until he pointed it out. And then when you feel on the thing, you can feel, man, it's crazy. Who knows how much? It could be a, it can be a, a three, four, five, six thousand dollar repair. Who knows? 
And I have one of those expensive cars too. So the more expensive that car, the more expensive those damn parts. I'm not fixing that. I had my car for two years and my, my, my computer shouldn't be going haywire like that. And when the man looked at my car, he seen what was wrong. They got to go pull everything apart. Then they had the adjusters come back down. Now they got to look at it. They got to inspect it. I'm going to be out of, I was told if this comp, insurance company keep moving slow, progressive keep moving slow, it's going to take about three weeks to a month. I hope this message get out for everyone here about progressive. Be careful with any insurance company that's telling you to take a picture. Don't download that stupid app. Go to a body shop. If you got a, a car from Toyota, go to Toyota and have someone look at your car once it's been hit. Do not download that app. Because I gave them the benefit of the doubt and look what they did to me. And it came back to haunt me because now my car's in the shop. Had I took my car in earlier, I would have had my car now. So be warned. You download that app, you're doing it at your own risk. Once you, luckily, I got lucky, man. Some of you are not going to get lucky. You're going to download that app. You're going to take a picture of your car. They're going to they're shoot you a few hundred dollars. And guess what? You stuck with the rest. Unless you trade the car. Because I almost traded mine and I was so mad. I said, no, no, no. I'm going to go and fight this. I understand contract law. Let me go in here and put this to the test. See if I still got it. And I made them fix my damn car. They're fixing it now. Second rental. In the other video, you see me with that Nissan Maxima SV, I believe. Or, yeah, SV. I think that's what it's called. Now I'm riding in this. It's a little better because I have injuries from the military, so I can't sit in those cars that ride low. I have to ride SUVs now. The more comfortable the car, the better it is for my injuries. That's why I have to be careful what cars I buy now. And if you're going to go out there and buy a car, you better make sure it's something that can stand the test of time that lasts and then one that can withstand accidents. Because I can't take on any more accidents, man. I've been in too many. And down here in Florida, these people don't know how to drive. Some of them don't even speak good English. That's why they can't read the damn signs. They're running red lights. You got to be careful in West Palm Beach. They got a lot of people down here that don't speak good English. Every car I had in Florida except for my uh, Camry. It was a, a 2019 Camry LE. The reason why that car was not hit because I traded in for that car that you see in my earlier videos, which is that uh, Toyota Highlander XSE. I traded in my LE for the XSE, a bigger car. And I'm not going back. And besides, Florida like to flood a lot. So you better have an SUV and preferably get an all-wheel drive if you're down here in Palm Beach. Any part of Florida where it rains a lot. You better just go and get you a four-cylinder or six, V6 if you feel like you need some power. And make sure all of them are all-wheel drive. My car is not all-wheel drive. In the future, I'm looking for my next car to most likely be all-wheel drive. Because you never know. That's something I thought I'd share with you guys. I know it's a little off-topic, off-subject, but... I thought I'd share that with you because Progressive need to get their game together. They assigned me someone, I believe, in Japan or something. Allegedly, allegedly, so Progressive don't sue me. I don't hate Progressive. I'm just upset that when I try to reach out to an adjuster and trying to reach and reach and reach, and I call the supervisor, no one's picking up or returning calls. I had to drive 30 minutes down to Progressive. I had to go down to the claims uh, department. I had to drive 30 minutes to go down there, and I got lucky because they were holding a meeting. That's what the guy told me. They were holding a meeting. And I got lucky because usually I'm stuck with the same problem. So Progressive, I hope this message reach out to you guys. Down in Palm Beach, you need to fix this nonsense. Everybody's trying to cut corners now. But as long as I'm around, as long as SSN Radio is in 36 plus countries and people want to know what's going on with these insurance companies as far as their vehicles, y'all better pay attention to whatever it's putting out because it's already going to happen to me. You see, I'm showing you this is a rental. This is a Toyota. I ain't gonna put it on the back. But, oh yeah, this is the LE. Okay. You're dope. I ain't trying to. Oh man. It ain't the car I wanna drive, but it's, it's doing the thing. This is the RAV4. If you didn't know, now you do. I said in another video. It's a RAV4 XLE. I, on, I looked at the thing on the back to make sure. I'm looking for if it's XLE or the LE. It's XLE. Got a lot of room. Correction, got enough room. Because it's a, it's a four cylinder, it's good on gas. I don't mind it. But like I said, back to what I'm saying. I said that. I got that out. I hope this helps somebody. If y'all want to reach out to me, just go to the comments. I'd be more than happy to talk with you guys. 
But as far as, like I said, let's get back to the skin color because it does matter. People keep saying, oh, it don't matter. We live in different times. You're right. We live in different times with the same problems. It's not going to go away. And every time a black man or black woman want to talk on this issue, somebody want to come in the comments and say, we're whining, complaining, this and that. Come to my channel, you're going to lose your YouTube channel. I have no love for anybody to speak out against Warvet. I'm not here to debate on my channel. You can come here and get with a program. You can come with a solution or get the hell on. I don't want to hear you. I'm trying to reach out to the right people. I'm not trying to reach out to every black person because every black person is not going to listen to me. I'm only trying to reach out to the smart black people. If you plan on going to college, you better go into something that can get you some commissions. If you're trying to become a lawyer, there's a chance you can make it out of debt. You, at least if, if you become a lawyer, like, let's say you become like a criminal, you go into, you become a criminal justice attorney or you become like the civil attorneys. That's where the money's at in civil. Filing lawsuits, like suing insurance companies, moving up in the ranks, owning parts of a law firm. Yeah, you're going to go in debt by who knows how much. But in the end, overnight, if you're doing good, you're winning your cases, you could pay that off. I don't know too many jobs like that where <clears throat> you go to college, <clears throat> excuse me, you go to college, you're in debt now, then you go to that nine to five job, they give you a set amount, see salary is going to mess you all up. Salary is another word for slavery. Extreme slavery. Because now they can work you for 10, 12, 20 hours a day and you're getting the same pay. At least if you got some job where you got hourly, you got salary or if you got hourly pay, make sure you got something that's backed by commissions because the commission is what's going to get you out of debt. Your salary, you have limitations, especially you got to you got to pay the college. You got so much debt, then you got to now you're going to end up with a mortgage. You're going to end up with uh, insurance and the list go on and on and on depends on what you're making some people get lucky they go out there and get a 9 to 5 job and it, ain't no luck in this I'm gonna stop that nonsense they probably became a mason they probably doing some heinous things behind closed doors to get those 6 figures and 6 figures these days ain't really cutting it no more you gotta be making up in the high 6 not the low 6 it's getting so bad with this economy you gonna have to be an upper middle class just to live a normal life that's how bad it's going to get. Yeah, I don't talk for about 42 minutes. I'm happy I was able to get this out. I'm going to talk a little more. I'm going to try to get it up to an hour. And then I might just take a break after this. I feel like, because this was on my mind. I'm sitting in the house and I'm thinking about what I've been seeing. I was talking with someone recently about this damn racism that's still out there. But see, this, this enemy done got smart. They learned new ways to, to deal with us. I've even... I've even talked with some white people that I'm cool with and they put some information out too. We just sit in a circle and we talk about things and I love when we're going to the shop, we sit in a circle and we talk with the Masons and they, if they cool with you, they cool with you and they talk. Someone have a cigar and some, some damn liquor in them, some liquor, they're going to open their mouth. They're going to talk. It's called a spirit for a reason. And we sit there and we chopped it up. It was years ago. We talked about so many things that were happening and so much knowledge was has changed to the point where a 33rd showed us his goodies, meaning he had his jewelry. If y'all know, those who know, know what I'm talking about. This thing was made of gold, real gold. A pyramid, a circular object, and some other things that he showed us. And then we sit out here just talking. When they trust you enough to where they want to, then you could talk that talk with them, they'll show you more stuff. Because I normally would see that stuff online, but to see that in person and then man open that up, that... I felt honored, man. I would never say who did what, but I was honored to at least see that in person. And we got to talk with, we've seen some blue bloods come down to chat with us to try to pick our mind and see what we really know. We knew what they were doing. You talk around a bunch of masons, eventually you're going to land into the hands of a blue blood. And this person was making offers and this and that. They had connections to Disney. And I found out this, this person's family owned cities. And we got nervous. We moved. We, we backed off. We stayed away from the shop for a while. We were dodging that shit. Because every time we go there, the person ended up being there. Because they were calling. Like, They're they trying to recruit. And they will come to the table with money. Oh, damn. A jet flying over my head. Messing up my content, man. And that sucker's pretty low.
I had to let it go by so I could say what I gotta say. And yes, I like to ramble now. I ain't gonna lie, there ain't much to talk about in this world. Sometimes I have things to talk about, sometimes I don't. In this situation, I had something to talk about, and then I'm gonna ramble it out for close to an hour. I got 15 more minutes. There's some of these jobs out here. So I'm gonna try to use this last 15 minutes to explain what dirty tactics some of these companies are using. I know of one company, basically will hire you. They'll, now, they will tell you, okay, we'll pay you 90,000 a year. You get there, now you know you're gonna need some workers to help. They will, they will, they will sabotage you and get new workers because they wanna work that $90,000 out of you, right? I've seen companies do it. I know people this happened to. They start you off you ninety thousand a year to start out, right? But when you get in there, they're working you to they're working you to death. They, that's by design. You try to get workers, and this is how you know you got a problem with the nine to five job. Anytime you take on a job in management and you don't have the power to hire nor fire, you're in the wrong business. If that company got to put out application, I mean put out ads, and they taking over the ads. And you don't get to see them until they, they just tell you, oh, we put out an ad, and then you just deal with the application, you're in the wrong business. You should have that power to put the ad out through the company to get the right workers in. The company should have a set amount set up. When they hire people, it needs to make sense because most people now ain't working for no damn pennies. Hell, most people now ain't even got cars because the cars are so damn overpriced. I know some of you guys out there doing security. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You got a bunch of security guards don't even have cars. They're taking Uber. Everybody Uber and everything. So we live in different times. With the workforce now, they're trying to get what they can get. Because when the COVID-19 came out and people got to stay home, people had the what? Opportunity to think. They started exchanging ideas. Some people, while it was in that COVID state, they was... Building businesses, and when they, when they were able to get out there and fully functional and ready to go, they got it, and some of them just took off. This is why the workforce is in the position is in now, because they let a certain amount of people get away with being on their feet. And now they're fighting with crypto, they're fighting with the stock market. People now are taking their money and being, they're becoming a little more smart. They're not going out to blowing their money in stores like how they used to. You notice some of these stores, are, these companies are bellying up. They're filing chapter 11s. You don't, you don't have to believe me, go online, it's there. Car companies are now starting to file ch chapter 11s. They can't keep up no more because when y'all, when America put COVID-19 on the market to kill off its citizens along with the other countries, and I know YouTube gonna try to go in here and put that blue screen trying to say, oh, uh, here's an here's a encyclopedia, we'll tell you what. No, screw that. Don't even listen to that blue bullshit they put out. COVID-19 was a man-made chemical they put out there was a, on the people to depopulate. Jesse Ventura was talking about this on Conspiracy Theory when they had all those damn those uh, the body bags and body containers sitting out there. Those coffins. Plastic coffins sitting out there. And those same coffins turned up by these hospitals. When people were dying in the hospitals by record numbers, the hospitals couldn't keep up. They was literally taking those bodies and throwing them into the dumpster. Go online. It's probably not there now, but go online through your search engines and look for it. I've seen these bodies. Stockpiles of bodies just tossed into trash like they're worthless waste because they say, oh, we can't bury them. They, 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 they. Yeah, that was by design. They told you what they're going to do and they executed. And the people still haven't done nothing. They haven't come back. They haven't even rose up and did nothing. The, the enemy know that people ain't going to do shit. They know this. But you call Jesse Ventura crazy. He's a conspiracy theorist. Now your loved ones went to one of those hospitals and guess what? They was in the back of that hospital in a dumpster. Because you're calling us conspiracy theorists. I don't have to worry about trying to teach the world no more. I go to my website. I put it here. I upload it. It goes to wherever it's supposed to go. And you can take it or leave it. It ain't like back in the day when the internet was still kind of somewhat new. And YouTube was in the early stage. You go online. You battle. You fighting for truth. We ain't got to fight for nothing now. All we have to do is just upload a video. Keep it moving. If you come to my video think you're going to talk, you won't get asked. And to make matters worse for the enemy, I'm in so many countries now, so I can talk to the masses. I couldn't do it before, but I'm doing it now. I'm playing my part in trying to help the smart people. The dummies can all die. I said that numerous times. I don't care about dumb people. Y'all all can die. 
and telling me you're not going to donate, don't, you're not going to change my lifestyle. I said this already. You're not going to change what I got. I work for everything. I've lived my lifestyle. I've traveled the world. I've been outside the U.S. I've been all over the states. I've done what I want to do. I, I've driven my dream car already. That, that, when, I, when I get my baby back, that's my dream car. Black on black. Black interior, black exterior. Black rims with trimmings on it. A moon roof. Satellite radio. Three rolls of seat plus trunk space. All leather. You think I give a damn if you donate? I don't care if you don't. You ain't changing my lifestyle. And I tell you right now, money is not... Money, I can care less about. Money don't make me. I've been me long before money. I've had personality and style before I even had money. When I was broke... Cars don't change me, a home don't change, a neighborhood definitely won't change me. So good luck on telling me, oh, I'm not going to do I can care less, son. Those who support me going to rock with me as SSN Radio grow, as Warvet grow, and I'm able to get my, take my uh, network somewhere else, get off of YouTube completely, who knows? Then I'm going to really amp up. Then I'm going to set things up like how some of the other people did in the past. Like, I may start my own little schooling where you come to, I may charge a fee and come out and start teaching you some stuff that I'm not going to share with this world. Because the world don't deserve to know nothing. If you're not going to put in the work, you're not going to go out there and take initiative, I can care less about you. Because you're going to be the same bums who come to my channel and try to deconstruct my arguments, which I'm not going to have. I'm not going back and forth with no peasants. I can't do it. I'm built differently. I know that the Illuminati scums, disinfo agents are going to come out and they're going to try to shut me down, but I don't care. You, you should have did that when I first started out. SSN Radio is too big to fail right now. And I'm too big to listen, too big to fail to peasants. I'm everywhere with my stuff. I'm talking with people from all over the world now. Don't get it twisted. I'm on the cell phone outside looking at this raggedy tire on this raggedy looking car. No, son. But when I go back into my office and I sit behind that computer, I'm talking with people. Yeah, it started out I'm on the cell phone looking crazy outside now. But when I upload this and go back, then I talk to more people. And then when we just change ideals, I come out here, I create new material. Rinse and repeat. Now for all the outsiders out there who think that <laughs> you keep thinking that the color of your skin gonna keep you in them jobs, it's not. Your time is coming. Some of you played a part in the destruction of my kind. Your ancestors did. Your parents did and still is. We are coming for you. I promise you everything I love. And you know it because you see it. You, you're, you know it's going to happen. You're not going to keep being able to do the things you did onto black people for long. The technology is here. And black people, the ones who are sitting around that tearing us down too with them, we're going to chop your heads off. We're not done. I, I said on everything I love, I'm not going to do nothing. I'm telling you what's coming for the future. Because this new generation, this new gen is not planned. They don't want to hear nothing now. This new generation, they got the internet, they see the truth. They don't give a damn about no old generation black men, black women. Real talk. Because they know they ain't got no damn retirement. They're looking at the AI technology. They're looking at the robotic engineering that's out there. They're going to take their jobs. They ain't going to have nothing. There may not be a future for, for the, these type of people. Hell, it may not even be a future for mankind. Because humans sat back and did nothing. Now I'm going to tell you, if you want to donate, for those who want to donate, I prefer my money coming from real people. I don't want my money coming from fake people who don't have no intentions to do nothing. I prefer people who really about their life, who really about helping a certain type of people just like me. You donate. That's all the money I'll take. And that's little to none. I'd rather just take my money, uh, have a few people donate to me, than have millions of people donating money. Because I don't care about the money. I want right, the right people around me who are going to travel and, and, and go to the same place we're going and we're trying to spread the word to the right people. And that's it. That's all I'm here for. I'm going to do that to the day I die. And no man or woman going to stop me. No one going to shut me up. And if you think you're going to shut me up, it may come at the cost of your life and your family's life. Because once more of it black out and I go and get my camel and I rock up, you may never be found again. And I'm not going to play when I come at you. Once you put your hands on me, I had some people tell me what they'll do to me. I told some, some other idiots too. You hit me, I ain't going to fight you in no public. 
I'm gonna plot and plan your death. I'm gonna go dig a grave somewhere like I'm trained to do. I'm gonna go dig your fucking grave. And then I'm gonna plot and plan on how I'm gonna catch you slipping. And I'm gonna put you in that grave and bury you. You will never be found again. I'm not putting you under the water. I'm gonna put you in a grave. Any man or woman think they're bad enough to put their hands on me, I dare you. I'm just that fucking crazy. So if you hit me, you gotta kill me. Because I'm gonna live my life figuring out how I'm gonna put you in a grave. I'm gonna dig a hole for you. I'm going to do you like how we did the motherfuckers overseas. We dug holes and then we went and got them bodies and dumped them in it. It's going to be your fucking body in one of them holes if you hit me. Don't let the injuries I have fool you because I don't need an injury. I got some technology that's going to handle some problems. This is a promise. Because I got people thinking they're going to put their hands on me and think I'm going to let it go. I don't give a fuck if it's 20 years down the line. If you hit me, I don't care if you went to jail and did time for hurting me. Because I report your ass to the police. By that time, the police done gave me your name. I got your address. I know your mom, your dad, your kids. I know everything you love. If you in jail and I'm out here, you don't fuck me up. And I got my strength and I don't healed. You better pray to God you didn't leave no wife or a girlfriend out here. That got your kids. A <laughs> war vet's a crazy one. I said that to some dumb motherfucker. He, he going to find out the hard way. You put your hands on me. I'm going to go dig a grave first in an unknown location. And then I'm going to plot and plan on how I'm going to put your kids and you in that bitch. Now let that sink into the world that want to put their hands on me. Because I'm talking the truth. I ain't talking no more. Once you hit me, put 20 years on your calendar. If I live, if your ass in prison, and you leave your loved ones out here for me to get, we're going to get them. Because I'm going to have some boy, I'm gonna have some team that come to get these motherfuckers. I'm going to show you how crazy we really are, what I did for this country. The same shit that got me out here seeing demons in my house, I'm going to see more demons. Because I'm going to take some of their spirits too. If you hit me. I'm going to keep talking my truth. I'm going to share my truth with the world. I ain't going to bother nobody. I'm not going out here looking for trouble. But I got trouble that always seemed to follow me when I talk. I dare any motherfucker. The taller, the better. I love, I love to take out a tall bitch. I don't like tall people anyways. Most of them I don't like. Because they think they got height on them. They can put their hands on people. I almost murdered a tall bitch before. Something happened down in GA. This tall motherfucker got out the car, put somebody to sleep, walked towards me. I had a 32 of hollows on me. And, I, and when I did what I did, that nigga turned around and went back to the car and left. Because I was going to kill him on the spot. But I saved his ass because he turned around and he mind his business. I guess some fat black dude was talking some shit. Because they almost hit the man with the car. I seen this shit. But I was a witness to that. So this tall, look like he was seven foot Nephilim, jumped out of the car, threw a few blows. The man was already drunk, so he couldn't even fight back. This is the nigger put his hands on that dude. And then he walked towards me. And I had that 32. He from the hood because he saw when I set up, I, I, I took a certain stance. I put my hand in my pocket. The nigga knew he was going to die. And two, we in Georgia because in Georgia they don't play. When you see somebody posting up a certain way the way I did, that means we got guns on us. I was by myself too. My friends, was, I think they were doing something. We was macking at some other female. And I see this dude slump this other dude and going to walk towards me like he going to try to take out the witness. Man, if he would have hit me. I had a 32 on me and I always keep a decapitated knife on me. Not only was I going to shoot this nigger, I was going to cut his fucking head off. That was the young dumb me at the time. Me, I'm a lot older now. I don't get in no trouble. That young me was no fucking joke. You would have hit me and I'm fresh from the war? All I saw was demons. All I want to do is kill motherfuckers who, who said the wrong thing to me. Man, that dude would have never had a funeral. Most I got me up about that situation because I'm not in the military no more. I try to move so far away from certain people. I'm not trying to live next door to people who are going to sit there and, and start some shit. I got away from that mess, man. But I'd be damned if somebody going to tell me a, is going to try to violate my First Amendment rights. I'm on the radio minding my business and people still want me to shut up. I'm not going to shut up. If you want me to shut up, kill me. But that's the only option you got. Because if you hit me, you're a sucker. You asking for death. If you put your hands on me and I find out who you are and you got a mom or dad, I'll go up in your fucking house. I don't care who you are. So when I take you out, I'm going to make sure when the police come get me, I'm going to make it count. I'm gonna, All that talking going out the window. But till then, I'm going to keep speaking with the people that I got mad love for. We're going to connect the dots and we're going to stick together. We're going to help one another. The rest of these naysayers, I'm not trying to vibe with. I'm not trying to go back and forth with. And I got some killers on my team, too. And we don't fuck with nobody. We just try to mind our business and we want to help. I would love to help everyone, but I can't help everyone, son. I first want to help my people. And then everybody else.
Because I fuck with white people too. I mess with Spanish people. I got some people out there I rock with. They, they understand me. You may not understand me, but they do because we talk. And we think alike. I had Spanish killers on my team with me. White, black, we had them all. We didn't give a damn. And we still talk like this. But see, the thing between us and the difference between us and you is we had common knowledge. We all had a common ground. See, you people see me, you don't understand me. You see the words come out of my mouth and you just judge me based on this. When I'm sitting out here, if you just look past the nonsense that I'm saying sometimes and you just look at the truth that I'm spitting, we all can, we all can uh, end up on a common ground together. I doubt if that's going to happen because most people out here don't want no common ground. They want us to remain slaves. They want to keep this racism shit going on. They want to keep us divided and they want to conquer. That's the world we live in right now. We have a class system full of classless people. I said this in my videos that were deleted. We don't have good people on, that many good people on this planet. They want to be polite and say good morning or hi and pretend. I'm tired of these fucking pretenders. I want to be around people that I can say, you know what? I rock with these people. I want to live in a place where I know I rock with people that have my best interests. I don't give a fuck about a next door neighbor. I don't. I want to be around people. See, as I'm getting older, I'm already working towards getting the right people around me and moving to an area I can vibe with people just like me. Not, not skin color. I'm not talking about all blacks. I'm talking about any person that rock with me, especially in my circle that I created. I want to get into an area where we can live amongst each other. When I look out the window, I should be able to see people that I know got my back. That's the world I'm creating right now. I may not live to see it, but at least I'm starting somewhere. I'd be damned if I'm going to keep waking up next to people I don't give a fuck about no more. I ain't running about no bloodline and I'm not running about no fake friends. Because at the end of the day, they're not going to help you. I got away from my bloodline. I said this in other videos. I had to get away from my bloodline. I stopped calling them family. They bloodlines. And then they try to lure you back in. They try to make you feel guilty. Oh man, we fam. Don't don't get off that Jay-Z Rockefeller nonsense. Look how Jay-Z did uh Beanie Siegel. Beanie Siegel don't want to hear that family shit, and neither do I. And on that note, this your ball warfare with SSN radio. Fuck the world if you don't like what I say, all y'all can die. And I'm out.